shop on the uplift, the women who helped start it all. How the Minnesota Twins are honoring the pioneers who shaped them into success. Camp is back in session for some very special Minnesotans. We're going to tell you how you helped to make it happen and how one family got the assistance it needed so desperately. We'll tell you why complete strangers were compelled to help. Welcome friends to the uplift in this digital series. We're going to be sharing some of our favorite stories. We hope will put a smile on your face. It's our goal to lift your spirits for at least the next 30 minutes, but hopefully for a whole lot longer than that. I'm Susan Elizabeth Littlefield. We're so glad you're with us. Behind the male dominated sport of baseball, there are several trailblazing women and those women are now being honored at Target Field. You can catch their dedication on a colorful mural on the second level concourse behind the Summit Brewing Deck. 15 women who have been the first in baseball to make history are pictured on the mural. Some of the women featured include Isla Borders, the first female pitcher to start and win a men's pro game. She played for the St. Paul Saints in 1997. And Sarah Johnson, the first female official scorer in Twins history. Another woman featured on the mural is a lawyer for the Twins. Hopefully looking at that broad mural and all the various roles that women have played, some little girl will see themselves and go, I could do that too. The hope is that more women will be added to the mural as time goes on and more women accomplish great things in baseball. Now to a story about how one woman's quick thinking helped save a man's life. She was honored for her miraculous efforts. Dwayne Hookham was leaving an event at Eden Prairie's Nesbitt Preserve Park in June when he slumped over the steering wheel. Molly Minton saw the car heading towards her kids and a group of friends. She said she didn't think much about what she did next. Opened the passenger door and I guess made kind of a quick decision to instead of try to put my foot on the brake just because of I mean, the car was in motion that I just thought it would be easier if I put my hands on the brake. So then just kind of dove in. <laughs> First responders and the park rushed over to treat Dwayne, who was in cardiac arrest. The city presented Molly with an award saying that what she did saved precious time. She was there to help and she did it. And Dwayne is healthy again and feeling great. Thanks to you, our WCCO viewers, another dream has become a reality. It was a dream that seemed impossible only a few months ago. Well, that is when we travel to Camp True Friends. It's a camp for people who use wheelchairs or learn differently. Because of the ongoing PCA shortage, the camp was going to have to turn away hundreds of campers. But thanks to your help, they are instead enjoying another summer full of fun. Take a look. A lot has changed since our last visit to Camp True Friends. Here we are. Yeah, no oh, snow on the ground. No snow on the ground. <laughs> and their worries have melted away. Back in March, uh, it was a crisis moment, actually. We had a goal of 155 staff. And uh, by the time we started camp, we were at 157. Oh, yes. So it was great. And a huge part was the story that you all ran. So thank you. After the story aired, what was the response? It exploded on social media. 10,000 people were on the, the CCO website watching the video, and then they, tra they traveled to our True Friends website. And you got the counselors. And we got the counselors. Ugh. Yep. After people heard your story, they stepped up. Nice. Yeah. You awesome. made this happen. I didn't you're humble. <laughs> For the WCCO viewers who stepped up, mm -hmm. what do you want them to know? Oh, that it's greatly appreciated that it's, we're all thankful that everyone could be here today. And they are here, savoring the summer and spreading smiles. Can I have a hug? <laughs> yes, of course. Thanks for giving me a hug because you like me. I do like you. Fred has been coming to this long-standing camp for 50 years. What do you like about camp? I like fishing. For Shelly, it's art. Does um, camp make you happy? Yes. What do you feel like when you're at camp? I'm more relaxed. Oh, right. A place to relax, a place 
to play. Do you feel freedom here? Absolutely, because you can go and do whatever you want. It's nice getting the independent part back for a while. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how much does that mean to you to have that? A lot. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. And Carrie is seizing every opportunity at Camp True Friends, a place where minds and bodies Zip it. Zip on. can truly be free. Two, one. <laughs> the kindness of strangers continues to inspire us all in this next story after a mother and her son lost a very expensive wheelchair when their car was stolen. Another Minnesota family was compelled to help. Our David Schumann has the story. Tamika Williams said after, this hug had so much love in it. I'm Tamika, how you doing? Hi, Susan. Oh. The Sauer family, strangers to her until now, became superheroes Wednesday for Tamika and her own Superman, her son, Samaje. Samaje has cerebral palsy and can't move or talk. He's been without his custom-equipped wheelchair for almost two weeks when thieves brazenly made off with Tamika's car from a parking lot. It's huge. You can't go anywhere without the chair. The Sowers know as well as anyone. Their daughter, Brittany, had cerebral palsy. She died six years ago. When they saw our story, they knew they wanted to give Brittany's chair to Samaje. It's kind of hard to let it go because that was Brittany, but at the same time, it was more important for Tamika and her son to have. Oh, I even like this because we wanted one of these on the last one. You guys are the best. <laughs> Just the sentimental part that's coming from that chair. Touch me. This chair got an angel that once used that chair. So I know that it's an angel just guiding just him being in that chair. Tamika says she and her son can take back their lives, fully mobile again. It's a huge extension of a person's life, the cerebral palsy, so you need to act quickly. It felt amazing. Definitely a mama bear, mom. <laughs> in St. Paul, David Schumann, WCCO News. Up next, a man who is truly making lemonade out of life's limits. We'll tell you why he is not letting a tragic accident define the rest of his life.